Hey everyone, Carolina Venom here, uh, making this video today to talk about the Kerasera Hydro Icon. I recently got the KitKat update 4.4.2 and uh, I've been messing with it a little bit and I have been using it. I actually just transferred or, do it, or done an ESN change from the ZTE Warp 4G over to the Kerasera Hydro Icon and I'm going to be using it for a little bit and I'm going to actually show you some of the newer things about the phone and, you know there's really not a whole lot of difference between Android 4.3 and Android 4.4 but there is a few little odds and end changes here and there so I will be getting into that here in just a second but finally Kerasera got the KitKat update so uh Stay tuned right now, and I will get into some of the features. Okay, so I'm sitting here with the Kerasera Hydro Icon, and like I said, it did it, it did have the KitKat update uh, and everything, and there has been a few changes, not a whole lot. I did read up that there was not much difference between 4.3 and 4.4, but there is a few changes, and really, I've never um, had a Kerasera to update in Android, which is, you know, kind of crazy. But this phone did get it, so that's a good thing. Uh, it's been available for download on my phone for the past couple of days, and I finally went, I was kind of iffy about upgrading to 4.4, but I decided, you know, hey might as well go ahead and do it so one of the things that you will notice right off the, right off the bat is when you power the phone on it says powered by Android and used to there was a little Android guy here splashing in water and showing it was waterproof phone well that's gone now and it says powered by Android then you get your boost mobile design here and everything and we'll just wait for the phone to power on. One of the things that I believe the 4.4 KitKat fixed on this phone is the unlock screen. Um, as I mentioned before, the, well, if it ever powers on here, and I'll show you. Sometime today. This swipe to start here, like I said a while back, how there was times it would not want to work. But right now, it is really, I mean, it really works well. And it does not have any issue um, unlocking anymore. You ain't got to sit there and play with it trying to get to unlock because it does seem to work very well and everything. Um, phone still runs very smooth. Um, yes, I do have the Halloween. Uh, wallpaper or clock here which I've always liked the Halloween series movies they're one of my favorites um, and everything and it is close to Halloween so yeah uh, but this phone still runs very smooth uh, really no issue since the update on smoothness but I have noticed a few difference now go ahead and go in here right now and I will show you that it is running KitKat Android version is 4.4.2 and there you go Android 4.4.2 uh, one of the things that I have noticed since the update is the phone seems to constantly run warm especially in this area right here uh, the phone stays warm and I don't like that because when you're on the phone even the front of the phone stays warm and when you've got it up to your ear you're talking on it for a little bit it does seem to get hot now I'm not sure why uh, you know of course I was using the ZTE Warp 4G but I decided to do an ESN change over to the Kerasera Hydro Icon with the update to see how it does work the update has been available on my phone for the past several days, like I said, but I decided to go ahead and update it. Uh, but I have noticed that the phone is hot even when I'm not using the phone. 
and it does seem to have affected my battery life. Battery life has never really been that great on the Hydro Icon, but it seems to be a little bit worse now. Uh, I'm not sure the reason, but it does seem to whenever I was activating the phone that it did drop almost 10% just activating it within like 5 to 7 minutes. And you can just sit there and watch it drop, you know, notch by notch. And I was like, man, you know, this ain't good. You know, hopefully if it is an issue with the update, then maybe they'll have it fixed soon. I don't know. Um, but, you know, I really don't know if there's that much difference between 4.3 and 4.4 .4 on the icon. I'm sure there are different makers like Samsung and LG that goes from Jolly Bean to Kit Kat where you can tell some differences on this phone here so far the only difference I've really been able to tell um, is that the unlock uh, unlock button or you know the, this button right here just like the start used to I'd have to sit there and move it around and around trying to get to unlock but now it's just very smooth it just works perfectly it does does good and you know other than that the power on screen, you know, showing power by Android instead of the little Android dude, you know, splashing in water, showing some waterproof phone. Uh, really, I've not seen any other much difference. I mean, I'm sure there are some, and if you have the, and if, and if anybody out there has the update on the icon and you know stuff um, about it that is different that I'm not mentioning. Please leave me a comment because I would love to know, you know, what other differences there are. And I'm sure there are a few other differences that I'm not aware of at the moment because I just upgraded it tonight. But I have noticed that there are so far more cons than there are good because right now, before I updated, I seem to have better reception and it seemed to connect to 3G in my area a whole lot better than it does now. Right now I can sit here with Wi-Fi off and it may take it forever to go on to 3G and used to pull between one two bars of service on a regular basis and now um, calling out is kind of hit and miss. So I'm not sure if it's just my area tonight or if it or if the update done something I don't know you know I'm not really sure I'm not really ever kept up in the loop of upgrading Android from you know 4.0 to 4.1 4.2 4.3 4 all these new updates you know I just update them when they when they come available and I use them and I mean I'm really like I said if there's anybody out there who knows more about it and if there's anything new about these phones here that is available on the KitKat for the icon, I would really appreciate your input. Uh, but like I said, the phone does run hot normally, and it's running warm right now. I mean, just since sitting here with nothing running, and the battery uh, right now is at 55%. And it was at 60% right before this video. So something is draining the battery. And that's not a good thing. So uh, anyway, I wanted to just kind of show you that I got the update on the icon. Uh, call quality is still good. It's got a high pitch to it. But it's very clear. And you can hear really good out of it. Uh, and everything. And the phone still works very smooth and all that good stuff so um like i say if you got any questions or comments or any more input on some new stuff this phone may have added whenever it got kitkat please feel free uh to leave me a comment below in the in the uh, comment section um subscribe to my channel i sure would appreciate it i'm glad curious here got the update but so far i'm having a few problems so uh Leave me some feedback. Y'all have a good one, and we'll talk to y'all later.